This is Group Therapy. In this show we take two absolute Dark Souls noobs and let them help each other to try and beat Dark Souls 3. In the sixth episode we finally leave Lothric Castle behind us. The area we're going isn't really tough so I would risk it without going to Firelink Shrine to spend their souls because we have quite a few. Yeah. So just go down again. Down. And remember that, uh, so down where we, because we're back at the bonfire, so just go down the, the stairs again. Yeah. And then take the ladder in the back. There's another ladder in the back that, keeps, that can get you uh, going down. So you can drop down again as you did before. But there's a ladder in the back, you can see it. Watch out. So especially with fast enemies, I would go for your fast attack. So there's another one in there. He's sitting over there oh, next yeah. to the barrel. You can hit him if you're fast enough. Twice, twice, you know you need to hit him yeah, twice. Yeah, but I did hit him twice, but he, he grew true. <laughs> okay, so there's a ladder. And there's gonna be a, a familiar face. This is just one of those guys you, you fought. Uh, this is the first time you would otherwise see that guy with the halberd. Oh, oh yeah. okay. But we never really went down there, so if you can backstab him, that would... Whoa! So that would have been... Time. That's a, a bar break. Oh, there we go. That's the one. They're getting the hang of oh, it. Not, he's not dead yet. Yeah, because he's one of those tougher guys. Yeah. Especially if you didn't level up before this point. Yeah. This guy is really, really tough. Uh, so there's a door over there, yeah. We're looking at the right... Cell door. Right spot. But... It's locked. So that's not the, the cell door we're looking for. You oh. can go the other way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, otherwise, I would let you go down here. Uh, oh, there's something there. Uh, I the would enemy. keep your shield up. Okay. As you can see, there's an enemy behind there, and it's one of those firebomb guys. Oh. Oh. And the problem is that those barrels in front of you can explode. Are oh, gun right. So you're you either roll through the barrels to destroy them before you can actually throw a bomb yeah, at them, yeah, but yeah. that risks you getting a bomb in your face. Yeah. So, I would go, because he doesn't know where you are yet, so if you run towards him, and then hit him twice in the face, because he's just a normal enemy. Oh, there we go. Nice one. Okay. So otherwise he would go, he would throw it in that direction, that would all explode. You can roll and they're, they're harmless if you don't, okay. don't hit him with your sword though. Because if you hit him with, their, with your sword, that you counts as a spark, spark okay. and you uh, yeah. let them explode. Okay. But rolling doesn't really, Effect. well that's actually also metal on the floor, but I think that doesn't really count. So now we're going deeper into the... Yeah. Oh, over there. That was a good... So that's a really yeah. good way. If you go into a new area, don't forget to keep your shield up. So there's another item here. A mail breaker. Oh, is that the oh, one? Oh, we forgot the fucking sword. Got them. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to be able to get that really fast. What? Yeah, there's another... In the, the bigger area where we yeah. warped out, yeah. there was another sword that we could get. We're going to show you that okay. in a minute. So let's go down. But once you have the item, you keep it. Yeah, you keep your item. So the only thing you lose is your souls and your amber form if you were an amber form. Yeah. There's, no, there's no enemies here, so you're, I could uh, set you at ease. Okay. So there's the cell. Oh, the cell. Oh. And there's the thief. Hello, Matty. Let's open up. How are you? Because you can get here first, but yeah, don't you, you don't have the key. Don't hit him, please. Ah. You're no jailer, are you? I love this No, guy. no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. No, it's just my face, no bell. <laughs> if that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Oh, Below the high wall is a musty little town. We just freed you, you ungrateful yeah. little lord. Shit. A very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. Ooh, we will. I, I'm not asking for charity. In fact, in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. Oh, I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then? Huh? What do you say then? Refuse. <laughs> uh, I humbly place my faith in you. Oh. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. So Give you're gonna defeat the next boss with me? <laughs> Thanks, guy. He's not really a fighter. <laughs> your part, and he's going to assist I'll me, so. Mine. Oh, 
Nice oh, ring. Can so stand. now he uh, he teleported to Filing Shrine. So next time you're gonna be able to talk. So to him. he's sitting in, in the, the cell, cell. Yeah. <laughs> where he can teleport. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna no. wait for a random stranger. That's gonna be an unkindled. So you can one. actually check your inventory, and uh, you can actually well go to equipment. Cool. You can put that ring in there because it's actually pretty helpful. So it increases damage absorption when HP is low. So your defense is going to be higher when your uh, HP is uh, pretty low. So I think that's but 25% lower. But we have to lower. give it away to Loretta. Loretta. Yeah, so, so that's going to be... That's only for a while. <laughs> yeah. So right now we should uh, be able to get that to Loretta in the end that settlement. Uh, um, so yeah. Um, inventory or not? No, no, you can go out. Oh. So you got the, the ring. Oh, yeah. It doesn't really say anything useful, otherwise I would have read it. But it's just the explanation of what it does. So now you can go back up. If he knows me. So Wait, when you're you're oh, oh yeah, just what I thought of this oh. yeah you do have to keep going in the room so okay. he doesn't catch yeah. you. so if you go into the oh. hallway you can go to your right immediately yeah there's a, a small hallway you can get into you're gonna have to roll through that though oh just now to the right here on the right yeah roll oh. through it yeah okay then run to the end and there's an item over there already oh yeah so unless the knight follows you which might happen yeah actually. I yeah, hear him yeah, okay so roll. No, he's oh, going he's back. Going back. Oh, he's going back. So that's not the item I want you to get. <laughs> okay. But this, the, it's oh, the way we need to go. It's oh, good he's going it's wheat. Smoke put the green wheat blossoms wheat. away. Put them away. Thank you. And now we need to keep going that way. This we way. can roll through those barrels. You can drop down onto the platform underneath. But there are people. Yeah, but you're not going to drop down to the lower floor. So okay. there we go. And then there's a, a chest right next to you. There. Right in front oh, of you. But oh. Watch out. No, it's not a mimic. Okay. I'll try to tell you. I just wanted to do that the first time because it was funny. And that's a pretty good sword. Ooh. The Astorus tree. So that's what I, what I wanted to give you. So if you go to your equipment, they, they won't attack you anywhere over here. And mm. swap out the long sword with the Astor. Oh, you can actually even use it yet. Oh, really? We Why? need... Ah, oh, we need Faith. I think we're only one point away from Faith. Because as you can see, un it does 19 damage more yeah. than the one we're using. Um, and it's actually better scaled, the, the blue number, physical. Oh yeah. And it's actually better scaled towards strength than the sword we're using now. We're gonna probably use another thing later on, but it's a good way to start. So yeah, and what do we need? Uh, faith. 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 So that's the, the red, that's why it's in red, so we need 12 Attrib faith. Attribute and I think we only have, oh we only have 9 faith, ah that's annoying. That's like 3 faith. Yeah, that's 3, three, three levels. Left. Um, yeah, okay, we're gonna have to move on then anyway. I just wanted to get the sword. Uh, go back to your inventory, use one of those bones again. Oh, yeah. Just go to the shrine bonfire so you can warp immediately to the firing shrine with that with oh, those yeah. bones as well. And now, and now I can talk to him again and reinforce your uh, long sword. Reinforce? Yeah, this long sword. One? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So now that does 121 instead of 110 damage. It's good. So that's pretty good. Uh, we can't upgrade it further because we need... Um, what do we need? Because it feels... Oh, we need four normal tight net shards and we have only one. So that's probably what it says. So go back out and then you can go uh, reinforce your Estus flask. Yeah. And we can use that Estus shard we found to reinforce our flask. So... And now we have an extra use in our Estus flask and so now we can use it five times. Oh so every time we find an Estus shard, we can give that to him and he's going to reinforce our flask. Now if you go to the right, there's one more thing we need to check. Look over there, who's sitting there in the it's corner? It's our friend! Remember his name? Because he said his name. Yeah, uh, it's uh, Grey Rat. Oh, Grey Rat, indeed, yeah. And in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Yes, indeed. Whatever trinket you need, Speak up. Just don't ask me where I got them. So he's n now gonna go stealing in several areas and he's gonna expand his uh, inventory when we unlock new areas. Because he's gonna go stealing over there and he can get more uh, items. So as you can see, he sells quite a bit of stuff. Um, I think, can you check out this, the, the mace? There's a mace uh, on the, the top row. No. Oh. Uh, underneath one and then to the left because that's a, a, a strength weapon and that does pretty good damage because it's a it's a, a club kind of looks kind of what uh, like what Vord was using oh. uh, the oh, spear yeah. would also be nice if you go to the right 
But I think that's mostly dexterity, so we're not gonna... So that's the same spear that those those uh, soldiers yeah. are using. Um, and then we have a bastard sword, is also pretty good for a strength character. But that's a pretty big sword, yeah, so that's... So it takes very longer. Heavy. Yeah, it takes longer to attack, so I don't know if we're gonna go with that. The long sword is what we have. And the bandit knife. And the bandit knife is what the bandit, the, yeah. the bandit actually starts, the thief actually starts with. Yeah. So actually, most of these are... Uh, and it's uh, this guy is also the best uh, merchant for arrows, not that we use bows. Yeah. But he sells fire arrows, mm -hmm. which is really handy. So now you can so, go... Remember what we needed to do? Because Emma in the cathedral yeah, told us to... To uh, go to Loretta? Oh no, that was... No, the, that was the... That was the thief. But the high priestess, when we were in the cathedral, uh, told us to go to the base of the, of the high wall. So that's where we are. Yeah. And she gave us a banner we needed to put up. So if you go over there, this way, yeah, because this is actually really cool. Keep going. Oh, because actually the camera pulls pulls away a bit. So what you're seeing here is half of the game. Half, half. That's this, this is pretty much half of the game. So if you remember. At the beginning, they told us where all the Lords of Cinder are. You yeah. can actually see all of the areas from here. Oh, so sorry. right underneath us, so yeah. past that wall, yeah. uh, are the, the Abyss Watchers. So Farron Keeps are those guys with the pointy hats. Yeah. Then if you look to the right, that giant thing is the Cathedral of the Deep. So that's where Aldrich is supposed to be. And then, uh, I think I actually misspoke. Because the last Lord of Cinder, you can't actually see where the last Lord of Cinder is, because that's pretty deep. And then you can see to the left, you can see there in the clouds. Yeah, the, there's, the, the there's, points. Yeah, there's, cast, there's castles, because it's pretty big, actually. You can yeah. see underneath that there's more houses and stuff. That's also, that's actually one of the, the coolest areas in the game. And then, if you really, really look in the distance, in the mountains, yeah. you can actually see a few towers as well, right above by Bob's head. Over yeah. here. There. Yeah, there. Indeed. So there's another, uh, there's another area over there. So that's most of the game, actually. But for now, we're going to head, well, towards the, the biggest thing you can see in front of us. So that's the Undead Settlement. So that's where Loretta lives as well. So that's that area over there, yeah. So uh, now you can actually raise the banner, because you get a prompt to uh, raise the banner. Oh. I'll buy you both with his banner. Yeah. He's really proud of his banner. Yeah, he is. Look at his little face. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. He looks ugly uh, like shit. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, uh, what uh, the fuck? Oh yeah, just three? Okay, another one? I think they're gonna take him. Oh. Yeah. He raised the banner. So those guys are actually a few of the only friendly monsters in the game. Ah, okay. So they're just gonna bring us back because we were uh, holding the banner. You can actually use them to bring you back up the. So you have to raise the, up the wall again. as well. So the undead settlement. So um, that's the next big area. So now you can actually see the cathedral of the deep a lot closer. So yeah, that's yeah. the cathedral we were seeing before. Um, I yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, you should light the bonfire. So that's that's gonna cause you to go back there. So now we have five Estus flasks. Yep. Uh, and if you go look forward a bit. Uh, up the tower, you can actually see something. Oh, oh there's, there's somebody a guy standing, standing there. And yeah, that's something. not just... What is he like? Wait, is wait, wait for... Yeah, wait for a second, because I think he it's, should... It's like I the think he did it in the beginning, when we just spawned. Uh. Uh, but we were kind of interrupted. Um, so he's actually firing arrows, and that's not just a normal guy, because that's a giant. Oh. Yeah, it yeah, looks it like looks the whole... Because <laughs> otherwise we wouldn't be able to see him from here. Uh, so yeah, I would say keep going. He looks like the hole. There's actually an item on the left, I think. Watch out. You never <laughs> know what you're gonna come across. Yeah, there's an item. Somebody said I think there. it's just souls. But he's dead. He's dead. You can ease up for now. <laughs> there's not really... So that's another soul. Oh, yeah. So the farther we go, the more souls that one of those items contains. Oh, yeah. So I think now I'm I'm at New Game Plus when I'm doing Press the DLC square. and most of them are uh, not square. Square uh, is healing. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Missed that so one. we need to go. You can actually see there's a lot of people in front of the gate yeah. praying. Yeah, and there's one, one, one walking there. 
Because this is this is actually pretty cool. So two. keep an eye on them. There's two. So should I wait? So so they can't enter the undead settlement. So even they are not good enough to get inside the undead settlement. Okay. Because you're, you're going to see in a second that place is is a real shithole. But yeah, keep going. Because uh, something funny is going to happen. Oh, dogs. So, uh, the what? people from the Undead Settlement send out their dogs uh, to uh, kill everybody at the gates, which includes you, by the way. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, that's the sound of the gate closing again. You can just hit him twice. Not when he's biting you. Yeah, but... What? Yeah, he was... That was... That's Above a bit your of the shield. weird... Yeah, that was the weird physics because he was... He jumped over your head and hit your head. And you were at a at a different yeah, height because height. of the stairs, because otherwise they can do that. But but yeah, they're dead now. So, so as usual in games, before we go to the obvious gate, let's go to the other direction. Yeah. And he says, it is locked. Oh oh, they're standing somewhere. Yeah. So that's the guy that opened the gate. So he's standing there right next to the lever. But there's actually a lever at this side as well. So really weird. Yeah, but don't open it just yet. Just go to the other side of the the okay. bridge. Because there's a giant. So Please. something something happened here. So usually before this, Lotric was connected to the undead settlement via this bridge. But as you've seen from up there, it broke off. Yeah. Because actually Lotric is a, is a lot higher now than it was before. Uh, clearly. What's that? Yeah, that was a really good observation. There's it's actually dog. really funny as well because the item they're eating. You're gonna see that in a minute. It's really. Uh, oh. You're confusing buttons. <laughs> so you're lucky because there's another dog. There's two dogs. <laughs> ah, you lost your focus. And now there are two. Just go in and hit him twice. I mean, there we go. Alluring skulls. You can check that out in the inventory screen. It's actually really funny. So it attracts uh, certain square. types of oh, enemies. Square. A skull resplendent in the scent of souls prepared by evangelists of the Cathedral of the Deep. Throw to shatter spreading souls which attract enemies. Not effective for all foes. So you can use that for some enemies to lure them into fires and, so, uh, and things like that. Oh. But it's not going to be really useful. Um, but it's a nice thing to have. So you can uh, close it again. And let's go to the end of the bridge, because uh, if you remember the beginning cinematic, these guys might look familiar. You can close the, the menu. The if you remember the beginning cinematic, those Not turtle really. guys. So these are pilgrims that came to Lothric, because Lothric is kind of the holy city. So but because the bridge broke off, they never got there. So, so most of these guys, here. most of these guys are dead. Most. Oh, but someone is There's talking. one more alive, so look around a bit. So the audio kind of gave it away already. Yeah, the other Came side. Came from the other side. You can actually see him moving a no, bit. Left, 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 left. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Left. Oh, over yeah. here. There we go. Oh. So talk to him. Oh, then it's true. A champion of Ash as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I am Yol of Londor, a pilgrim as you can see, only somehow I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Say, champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. No. I am honored, truly. So, he's not I a pilgrim anymore. <laughs> Yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. Hmm. Cool. So that's Yol of Londor. Yeah, so yeah, he does the same vanishing trick as the other yeah. guys. So he's going to um, be in the uh, Firelink Shrine. Yeah, he's going to be in Firelink Shrine. There's another item over there. Maybe you saw it while you were talking uh, to him. At the corner, the, other, the far corner to the left. Yeah. Left. Oh, over there. It was glowing it. against the wall. <laughs> and more Homeward oh, Bones, because we used yeah. all of those. You right. can actually look at the side of the bridge, because there's actually something really cool down there. Left side? Oh, just down. 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 Giant dragon. So there's, the, oh. there's a dragon over there, so something... 
they're, they're kind of, again, signs of a battle that happened here, where dragons actually were a part of the battle. Because we saw a lot of corpses of knights in, the, in Lothric as well. So we kind of can assume that the dragons were part of that fight as well. It's kind of if you get some of the equipment from the Lotric Knights, because you can actually get their armor and stuff mm -hmm. if you kill them enough. It, it's kind of assumed that they were actually able to use dragons to fight alongside them. So that's why there was all, the, all those dragons in the city. But they were killed partly probably by the army where Vort is part of. Mm -hmm. And partly by those angel knights, because of course those were still alive as well. But yeah, now we can go inside the undead settlement. Let's, Let's continue. Let's Woo! destroy the undead settlement. <laughs> With Loretta in it. Bye you, bye Let's you, bye not you. kill her. You're making me fucking nauseous. Oh, Le lever on the left. I still have a hangover. So don't do it. I so those guys waiting off. outside were fucking idiots. Oh, but that one isn't. So he's just leaving anyway. Um, Should I go? Well, you can go into that shack on the right. There's a bonfire, so you can uh, just light it, and it's oh. gonna reset run, anything run, run, anyway. Run, 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 run. So run. where do I? Where Straight is the bonfire? Right, yeah, there. right, right. Oh, yeah, there. Over here. Oh, At the edge of your vision. Of your vision. And then yeah. rest at it. I think the giant so the kuching is the giant firing an arrow. Oh. oh. You just heard it. Yeah. So. Yeah, go out. It's just so you can uh, spawn here again. Right. Oh yeah. So there's a guy on the left now. Oh, Since right. he repositioned himself. Oh. He's back where he spawned. Oh, with the, oh. So, so we have to kill him? him? Yeah, because otherwise he, you saw him running up the stairs. So. Oh, knife. Uh, in the back. Backstabbing. Backstab yeah. You have to be in the back. No. Oh. So well, now we're yeah, strong enough right. to kill these guys with two hits as well. Nice. So. That's a good so. one. <laughs> Don't keep your shield up because you're... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's another one. Shit. And there's another one. Be. But he, he has heavy strikes. It was three times. I have to be careful. And there goes all your stamina. Oh, yeah, Your stamina wow. doesn't come back if you keep your shield yeah. up. So rolling still works. And these guys are actually stunned by roll if you roll yeah, into them. I saw it. And also two hits to kill them. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. So, so if you look around a bit... There's Especially some up. People hanging. Yeah, this is not a this is not a a nice place. Will there be people dropping down from those lines and kill you in the back? Who knows? Uh, I think they do because they move. Yeah, this one moves. The other one. Well, there's wind as well, so I wouldn't I wouldn't read too much into it. Okay. There's do they drop? House? Just tell us. Why would I tell you? Look at this, that guy in the corner, yeah. Oh. And look at the guy hanging there. Kill him. What? This Kill is. Kill him. You see Yeah, the that's just the a physics engine that's and, just. And this is. No, the oh. other one behind. So that's kind of like the. Like the, the empty suits of armor. Yeah, just go inside. And kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Yeah, you can hit them if you want to. You just drop them down. Oh, there's an item. Yeah, but you need to uh, hit it down before you can actually get the item. There we go, small leather shield. So that's a, a small parry shield, which is mainly used to parry and not to block anything. Okay. But since but we, we don't, don't do parries too good. Yeah, or well, you never tried it. Is that the, what's this? Oh, yeah. That's a bunch of corpses okay, in a cage. Yeah. So uh, do I have to drop down? No, there's a, a staircase on your left. On my left? Yeah. So oh, usually you okay. can follow the lights a bit. Yeah. It keep your ears open. It is yeah, I, heard, I hear something. The one in the in the sea. Yeah, that one. There's someone outside here. <laughs> Just take the item first. At least this is a really one. a really. Oh, this is the most horror area I think in the game because it's so oh, eerie. It's, oh 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 my god! Yeah. There are there's a lot. Four or five of them. Six. Well, there's two on the left, three in the first row, three in the second row, then there's somebody praying. So you can hit so, that down yeah. as well. Oh, oh, mm. Yeah, okay, oh. that's good. Oh! Nice. That was his, your back you were showing him. Yeah. <laughs> here, oh. here, you can hit it here. Don't forget the local. Yeah. Ooh, repair powder. Whoa. So, we don't really have use for repair powders. There's some really, really brittle weapons in the game, but every time you rest at a bonfire, 
you automatically repair the weapon as well. Oh, okay. So we never really use it. So it's own, it's press own. X. Yeah. X. Oh, uh, I right heard here. some. Yeah, look behind you. That was clearly in your back. Oh, hey, that's a... Yeah, so now you see where his design is coming from, because uh, I think the key, the cell key also mentioned that uh, thieves came up from the undead settlement and yeah. climbed the wall to go stealing in Lotric. So uh, Greyrat is a thief just like these guys, although Greyrat has his, uh, his mind still. Breathing. So there's one on the oh, right there. there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that thing breathing? Yeah, yeah. that's one of them. One, one right, you, right one. next to you yeah. as well. Just over there. Oh, see his hat. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Saw so the one. Don't panic attack, cause you're gonna die. You're almost dead. Oh. Don't he go back and heal. Cause he's throwing knives at you're, you. Look at your health bar. <laughs> it's almost completely gone. Lock on, yeah. Don't forget to lock on because these guys are so fast I'm and small. Yeah. You can actually see him. Well, it's higher. I think he's in the ceiling. What's this? There's one over there. That's the one that got you in the back yeah. when you went down. Okay. So I think he's hanging from the wall somewhere, but I, I know you can see him. So look behind. I hear him. I hear I him. So these guys are really annoying because you tend to underestimate them, but yeah. they do a lot of damage. A lot of damage, especially there. There's a, ver a variant with uh, a great sword as well, and they oh. kick ass. So a, a very big two-handed sword. So can I drop down? Yeah, I can drop so down on him. So which button do I have to press when I drop down? Just, just the attack nice. button, just R1. But oh, I think I hear, I hear some. That might be outside because the guy outside is yeah. still there, but he won't come in normally. So just drop down and. The yeah, that should kill him in one hit, but there we go. So there's one on the right and one right in front of you. That's on the wall still. Yeah, so I should first go to that one. And I don't know if there are any more. I don't exactly know on this area how many enemies there are. Just hit him. Hit him. Just hit him twice and he's... Yeah. And now yeah, turn around. Yeah, that yeah is. he dropped down. Lock on. So that's the attack that caught you. Oh, that's another one. Oh, that's, no, a player. that's uh, another player. Charcoal Pine Bundle. So that's something you can uh, apply to your weapon to temporarily give it fire damage. Oh, nice. So you can set your sword on fire. Lost so souls. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now over here... Yeah, so normally the, the corpse you slash down will still yeah, be dropped still down. I think otherwise we're going to have to do that again. Yeah. But. We're gonna have to uh, deal with everybody here as well. So you know you can kill those guys with two hits. So if you can, yeah, I think I think I hear something still, in the yeah, back. Yeah, it's still up. up. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a guy that's still guy up there. That, so I have to do it again. Oh, wrong button. No, you could have cleared out the square first, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. The good thing is they're all cleared out. Yeah, room. so you should be pretty okay. Just roll. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. No, running. no, that's oh, it. That's oh, it. Oh, You're going oh. too far. On the balcony. Which one? They are Watson. Ooh. Yeah, it's hard to aim when you're not But I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave him here, the guy. Or... No, he, he won't follow you. I don't think he noticed you. And I think he wouldn't even follow you all the way down there. And otherwise, he's pretty easily killed. These, these guys don't do much damage. You can roll against them to uh, stun them a bit. So, so, so these are an assortment of... Pretty much everything. So a few of these guys can actually throw fire bombs as well. Ooh, Loretta's boom. Yeah. What? Is she dead? <sighs> That's the implication. So you can check. I don't think you you trigger any enemies. No. So check the inventory. Uh, I think it's yeah, it's right over there. Old discolored human bone with several holes bored into it. A woman's corpse in the undead settlement was found clutching this bone. Her name was Loretta. So the corpse in the back is her her corpse, so Loretta's dead. Um, and this is actually her favorite bone. <laughs> so yeah, because the people in the undead settlement don't don't have much. So yeah, they, they like little things. So like people who have a, a pet rock have a, a favorite. It's not one of her bones. It's just a bone she found. Ah, okay. and she, she made some holes in it. So that's why the why the holes it is. Could be that she just named this bone. <laughs> she named a bit of her finger. Hi, this Jack. is my Hi. my bone. Okay, so let's kill everybody here. 
press X. So, so the biggest threat here is the guy in the middle. So, so you can see that uh, big thing over there, next to the fire on the right. I am locked on, but... Uh, oh, That's yeah, the okay. most dangerous one of all, so you Fuck. should try to kill that one when there's not much else going on, because... It's actually a sheep. So, so... Yeah, just lure one of them at a time. I don't think they all trigger at once. They might trigger in groups, but... So. And if you're walking slowly, can you I make less noise. So you can just hit him if you want. Is that gonna create a shitload of enemies? Whoa! Oh, he did hit me! Yeah, he did hit you on the... Oh, sorry. I would heal. Just roll to this left or, or do that. <laughs> That's one. Ah, uh, your stamina, your stamina. It's They're keeping his shield up, so... Yeah. <laughs> there we go. No, See what the I difference forgot, is? That's I a, it's a, it's that a huge difference. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. I'm telling you, you can be really aggressive with these guys. Most of these guys you can just kill without them attacking you. You're fast enough, but watch out that you don't trigger... Yeah. Because okay. those guys will turn around, so I would go for those first. These one? Yeah. And then move back because the, yeah, the big one is triggered. So if oh, you go okay. back to where you came from, just run to where you came from. Here? Yeah, yeah go in there and then kill the guys that are coming towards you because she's a lot slower. But, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Because then she should follow you all the way over here. So it's to spread them out a bit, so divide and conquer. So, are they still coming? I well, she's, she's gonna be interested a lot faster than she was before, but... Again, she can be that backstabbed as well, but she has... Start rolling again when she attacks, because she has uh, a spiked club, and that can actually do bleeding damage. Through your shield if you try to block it. So... She... Well, you know you can kill those smaller guys with a few hits, so if you want to kill that guy, just walk up to him, hit him twice, and then roll away. Oh, um, oh, oh. Just go yes. back. Run. <laughs> yeah, she has a few spells available to her, but... Yeah, there oh, she is. Oh, shit. Don't get too close when she does that. So, uh, I'm stuck now? No, no, just... Uh, that's her long distance spell, so get something between you and that. Something like that. That's like a, oh, a, a sure. swarm of flesh eating. No, no, don't get too close, don't get too close. Ooh, that was... Because she has quite a bit of reach when she does so that. I'm going outside again and kill Don't get too far, just go, just start... If you stay close, it's kind of like with Vord. If you stay close, you can... So get the, just don't attack too much. She stands there now. Should I leave her alone? Okay, yeah, you can do <laughs> that if you want to. Yeah, let, leave her there and just kill the I'll other kill ones the one, so you yeah, have a bigger sure. room to... Woo. That was. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. If you're fast enough, you can kill them. And this one too, or yeah, just kill over yeah. everybody. Kill them all. Because they will stand up if they. Uh, there's one on the left as well, so they. Will... Oh wow. Yeah, that was a good one. On the other side, yeah. There we go. Nice. Oh, oh. that was good. That was good. He didn't hit you. That was really good. <laughs> so take the item in the fire, by the way. Oh. At least we have that. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, I'm scared of it. Look at that. What's that? That's the shard. Another flask. So we can get an, an extra charge yeah. when you, we get that oh, back to uh, Andre. I, I used one. Sorry. Yeah, I used yeah. one. Um, so <laughs> either, if you want to try and kill her, do that. Otherwise, we can just move on. No. She's, she's, she's going to respawn anyway. So, so yeah, and she doesn't have a, a particular item on her. There's a few more the items oh, around yeah, the tree. Yeah. And we Is don't really have to go back no. right now. So I would just keep Ember. pushing on that, so that's also really good. And well, there's it's, an item on the left. It's a good thing she's not... She loses interest quite fast. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, she's, she's a pretty she's hard enemy. She's one of the harder enemies in this uh, area. So um, there's two ways we can go. So we can go in there, in that building, or there's a, a bridge on the other side where we can go through over as well. And I would go that way, because that's, this in my way? opinion, it's the easier way. This yeah, way? you can go. There's no, an, a guy on your right as well. Oh, uh, I first kill that uh, one. But don't wait too long, just attack him. 
These guys are really, so these are the, just the basic enemies here, and oh. that guy will see you if you start attacking him, so that's why I wanted you to kill him quickly. Very good. Oh, an item? Yeah, but that, yeah, okay, just, just take the item. That's, it's not the way, because this is practically the same way, you're just above yeah, the other area, so the bridge is over there on the left. There's it. There it is. Oh. Don't forget to stab here, because you might you're gonna hit the, yeah. the rock yeah. otherwise. Part two. Yeah, not. There sure. we go. And Dodging is not just for boss fights. Yeah, especially with the with the stronger normal yeah. enemies. Like with the knight, it helps. <laughs> nah, you're gonna try and get try and push him off. Off. So and try. Yeah, just to your left. That bridge. That okay. bridge. Next time, home group therapy. Drop down to the right. Stop, 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 stop. Go back, go back, go back up the bridge, come back. Oh, oh, oh. Holy fuck. Yeah. This is a pretty big. Oh, boss fight. <laughs>